Good morning. It's Thursday, April 28th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Crown Wearing, and our scripture is Philippians chapter 2. Paul writes, Therefore God elevated him to the place of highest honor, and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Yesterday's post about cross-bearing and today's topic of crown-wearing are so connected we can see a syllogism that makes an eternity statement. That is, you will be crowned by Christ in heaven to the same degree you have crowned him here on earth. Don't forget that the spiritual far outweighs the material or natural. In the spiritual realm, things are always reversed from the way they were in the natural. That which was high will be made low, the first shall be last, and so on. Following that sunbeam thought back to the source, we can also say that those who appear to be less than worthy of wearing a crown here on earth will be the very ones wearing them in heaven. Who are they? Well, they're all who have truly allowed their lives to be firmly rooted in Christ. They are the disciples who only bow to the crucified, risen King of glory, Jesus. These are they for whom nothing took higher priority than Christ's likeness. They were, as Paul expressed, not conformed to the image of this world, but transformed in mind and thought by Christ to serve what pleases God, not self. If friends or family or church or even a nation would be honored in heaven then Christ-likeness must be the goal, our target for life. Hear the testimony of Scripture on the matter. James, the brother of Jesus, wrote this, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. John, the beloved disciple that Jesus loved, wrote in Revelation chapter 4, the twenty-four elders fall down and worship the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever. And they lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. And then if there's any doubt, Jesus laid out the indisputable measuring stick in Luke chapter 9. He said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Cross-bearing and crown-wearing. For you today, taking up the cross daily has a reward in heaven. Anticipating the crown, followers of Jesus will not be disappointed. And neither will those who, sadly, choose to walk away from the cross to follow their own path. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.